everybody, and welcome. Another edition of That's Railroad. <laughs> well, we bring the railroad to you, and we do love doing it, too. Okay, we're uh, going to fix a little alignment problem with our track today. All right, we'll uh, turn around here and show you what's going on. Okay, really glad to have you with us, and hope you enjoy today's show. All right, let's get right into it. Okay. See, we got a little bit of alignment problem right up in here. A little bit right, oh, sorry about that. Let me back up. It's right in here. Okay, it ain't real bad, but uh, geometry report flagged it. Uh, it did not flag it as being out of Code of Federal Regulation specs. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. But we're going to try to straighten that out. Uh, the track's dipped over a little bit. Got a low joint there and a low joint on up there. So we're going to tamp through that today. Get it all straightened out. All right. I said it looks worse than it really is, but it doesn't ride real nice either. So, But again, it's, it's not out of the Code of Federal Regulation specs, actually, believe it or not. Maybe you can see those low joints a little bit better now help pulling that and uh, okay so you wonder how how does track get like that well we've had a hard winter and uh, the freeze thaw freeze thaw cycle that we had earlier in the winter is hard on track and when you get it sometimes when you get a joint that starts to dip down uh, then uh, it'll pull the track out of alignment and then after so that's pretty much what happened here but uh over the because of the heavy trains running over it you get a little joint it wants to pull the track sometimes so that's how that got out of alignment but we had two months almost two months of really hard frozen weather and i was unable to tamp that i uh, had some other spots that uh it's got warm here in the last couple weeks i had some other spots that i had to take care of first that uh, the geometry report did flag uh, as being more, uh, what do I want to say, a greater need to get tamped than this spot. So anyway, we're going to get this fixed up today. All right, let me get my, uh, I'm shooting right into the sun here. So yeah, uh, get my tamper set up and uh, we'll get, get started. We're okay, we're right here in this uh, squirrely spot right here. And uh, what's going on here, this track over here is low in relation to the track over here. So we're picking that up, and when we pick this track up, we're also shoving it over. And I'm also running the track over, pushing the track over with my jack beam up there. Uh, I'm actually doing it manually. I've got a, a thing here. I can push that track over. Pick it up, brought up here, and I'm gonna bring this, I'm doing this manually right here, with this right here. Okay, how about that? All right, a little hard to see these ties. I don't have a regulator with me. Okay. See that track going up like this? That's helping to shove the track over also to the south. Okay. Well, here's my second plot. I made the, made the first pass, and as you can see, it's a whole lot better than it was the first time around. So I'm gonna run this again, and that should pretty, get, pretty much get it close to where I need it to be. Uh, about that should get it pretty much close pretty close it's looking a whole lot better behind me already I know that okay so that's where we're at I'll make one more pass here and then uh, I'm probably going to have to get cleared up for the train he's up there at the mine loading right now alrighty alrighty Oh, 
Okay, you asked me why I lined this manually the first time. Uh, so this is our second plot, and sometimes you get a real big line sway. Uh, the computer doesn't always, let me say, I can push the track better manually. I can do a better job with the big line sways, get a, getting it closer manually than the computer can. If that makes sense. Uh, once I get it close, then uh, you know, I have a liner on my computer, and the line I'll, I've got the computer lining the track now. How about that? So that's where I'm going to be, right in the middle with our line. Okay. All right. Hold off for old tamper operators. Uh, they said, keep it in the green. Keep it in the green. So we're keeping her in the green. There we go. Okay. We'll be back with more. Well, that's what our track looks like after two uh, passes. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Looks pretty, pretty good for what it was. All right. I got to get this uh, right in here. Right in here was this really squirrely spot. Squirrely spot! Ha <laughs> ha! It's out of whack. Ha <laughs> ha! I know you guys love it when I use uh, proper railroad terminology. <laughs> squirrely spot and out of whack. Ha <laughs> ha! It's in whack now. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, I gotta get picked up and uh, go clear up for the train. We'll be back with more. Yeah, see, right in there was that. Uh, right in there was that big line sway, and uh, the surface is a whole lot better. The circuit cross level between the two uh, rails is really nice right now. It's right there where it's supposed to be. So wonderful, wonderful. This joint right here was one of the ones that were down. It got back. It got picked up. Okay. Looking pretty good, actually. Looking pretty good. Well, okay. Here, here's the uh, track geometry report that we got for that spot I just did. It's right here. It's the top line. And you see it has a right alignment of 62. Okay. Um, that's on a 62-foot cord. That's what most of your uh, federal regulations are predicated on. Some are, are uh, written on a 31-foot cord. That's at the uh, right below bridge 9. I'm going to get that this afternoon. He's almost The train's almost ready to leave, so I didn't have time to do both of them here but you see it wasn't that far out and uh the geometry truck did not flag it as being critical where they did the uh the reg ones and the reg ones i've got all done on my whole geometry report here got all the reg ones done now okay but uh so that wasn't i mean it looked really bad as you can see it looks really good now but uh, it was only, they say it's only 14 feet in length. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I doubt that. I don't, I don't agree with that. I think that is erroneous. You can see, I think anybody with an eye, I saw I showed you that track and see that it's longer than that. But anyway, but anyway, it does, that doesn't matter. It's fixed now. What I wanted to show you, this is the uh, Code of Federal Regulations Track Safety Standards. And we have a class two track here. This is what it says. The on tangent track, the deviation of the mid offset from a 62 foot line may not be more than three inches. So like I said, we're I, I think I said that we are 
even before I tamped it were in within the Code of Federal Regulation specs. It was close to being out, yes, it was very close to being out, uh, but it was not flagged by the geometry truck as being out of Code of Federal Regulation specs the way it was. All right, so how about that? There you go. <laughs> okay, I hope you uh, have enjoyed today's video. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for tuning in and watching. And happy rails to you, my friend, until we meet again.